Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your morning mobility workout. Uh, today, we're going to do a bit of a lower body focus with a bit of shoulders and neck work at the end. So my name is Adrian, and we're going to start with the foam roller. Just going to get warmed up. We're going to work our way from our quads first. We're going to start with your knees just above the roller. We're going to wake up our legs. From here, you can find your forearms or on your wrists, either one's fine. Roll just above your knees. You're going to roll back and forth. Right on the top of your quads. Now, we're going to spend about two minutes here. We're going to really get them warmed up. You do have a few options. You can lift your legs, turn them up 45 degrees. You can lift your legs, turn them in 45 degrees, or just do neutral and work back and forth. Sure to breathe your stomach the whole time. Excellent, got about a minute and a half. So really taking our time. When I'm thinking a particular spot, that's fine too. Sure to breathe your stomach the whole time. All right, about 45 seconds left. Just really taking your time, sinking in, taking deep breaths. So 20 seconds left, really stay in your time here. <clears throat> we use a roller to wake up a, um, a big part of our lower body, and then we'll do some active stretching to see if we can release what we just rolled and warmed up. And five, four, three, two. One of our quads are nice and warm. We're going to do our glutes. So we're going to have a seat on the roller. You can also sit on a ball, tennis ball, hockey ball. That's fine. I'm going to use a roller. Here. Whichever side we're leaning towards, and I want that same leg up uh, on top of the other. So if me, I'm leaning towards my left. My left cheek is on the roller. My left leg is going to be on top of my right, or my, I guess my left ankle is going to be on top of my right. So here, I'm just going to work back and forth. Put it along any kind of tension my glutes. You can also adjust the angle. You can lean down, you can lean back. Everyone's different. Just work with what you got. Just remember to breathe slowly the whole time. And five, four, three, two, one. Switching sides. <clears throat> About twenty five seconds. And you slow the deep breaths. <clears throat> and five, four, three, two, and one. All right, next we're going to do our cats. Definitely good if you're doing a bunch of cycling the hell over the weekend. So we're going to put our caps on top of the roller. We have three options here. We can do it with both legs, we can do it with one leg, or we can do it with one leg and resting one leg on top. I'll show you all here. So here, you can either lift yourself up and roll back and forth like this. 
Or you can cross your legs, lift your whole body up and roll back and forth. Or like me, if you have really tight calves and all those are much too painful, uh, you can just simply rest your calves on top. Take the other one and press down, adding weight from the top as opposed to lifting your body weight up. So for me, I have pretty tight calves uh, and this is enough for me. It's difficult for me to do the other one. So I'm just gonna stick to here, but you can do whatever variation you like. I'm gonna be here for about 35 more seconds and switch to 45 for the other side. But you do whatever works for you. If you wanna do both the whole time, feel free to do both the whole time. So 25 more seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Switching sides. We're gonna breathe your stomach the whole time. Forty-five seconds in. And for me, I feel it just by resting my calf and using another leg to press down. But uh, if you don't feel it in this position, feel free to go for the single leg or the double or you hold your whole body down. Another one at eight, okay? We got 30 seconds left. Again, for me, my calves are quite tight. Probably roll and stretch them around. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Slow deep breaths. So 10 seconds on the 10. Three, two, and one. All right. Uh, next, we're going to go for the shins. Definitely going to be doing a lot of walking or hiking. Always a positive one. And here, we're going to cross our shins or cross our calves. And we're going to target whichever side is on the bottom. So here, I'm going to cross my legs one over the other. My right side is on the bottom, so I'm going to lean my hips towards my right. And then I'm going to dig right along the outer third of my shin. So here, like this, rolling it up. Back and forth like so. Now, you want to breathe your stomach the whole time. You uh, go to breathe this to exhale, your knees come in. Inhale, they lengthen. Got right, about 20 seconds left on the hands. Back and forth. You can also hold it in a particular spot. Just breathe through that. That's fine too. Five, four, three, two, and switching sides. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. This is static stretch. Now that our body is all rolled and hopefully a little warmed up. We're going to some lower body stretching. Here they open up. We're going to start off in the lying face up position. We're going to go for a glute lead stretch. This one's going to target our low back and the side of our glutes. Maybe a little bit of your ITV, but I did most of your low back and glutes. Here, hands up stretched, one leg up in the air. Whichever leg is up, you're going to take that same arm, pull it across your body, stretch across this side. Key part here is don't allow your shoulder to lift off. Try to keep both shoulders and head on the ground. You feel a stretch in the side of your glute, maybe even a little bit in the low back. We're going to be here for about 30 more seconds.
for at least 35, 40 seconds. You want to feel it inside the glute, maybe a little bit in the low back. Just to give her a little back and break. And stretch a little bit into her lats. Just you even hunched over. It's good to just open up to your lats and to your back. So here, on your knees and in front of you, and shifting your hips towards your heels, trying to feel a nice stretch. Right out one the lats and on the back. Seconds, ten. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. We're here. We're going to go for our first hamstring stretch, then a groin stretch, and then some more hamstring stretches. Definitely important to release those hamstrings. So, here, one leg up, one leg in, just a basic reach for your toes kind of hamstring stretch. Like extended, shoulders back, and lean forward, trying to feel a nice stretch on the uh, bottom of the thigh. About 25 seconds. Three, two, and teaching sets. and stretching as much as, as much as you can. You may notice one side is a lot easier, easier than the other. That's normal. About 20 seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, uh, next we're going to go for a grunt stretch. Feet together, shifting back if you need to on your mat. Our right, feet together, think shoulders up, pulling yourselves in as best we can. Try to go for a nice grunt stretch. So, something you want to watch out for here is hunching over. You want to try to just bend the arms and hunch your back just for the sake of trying to bend uh, or fold forward more. Just keep your shoulders low and pull yourself in with a relatively tall posture. You should feel a nice stretch in your groin. Uh, after this, we'll actually go to the wall. We feel like we need extra hamstring, uh, hamstring and groin stretches. We'll still stick to the mat for the next three, but after that, we'll head to the wall and really uh, release our hamstring and groin. It'll look a little funny against the wall, but 
just if you can uh, if you can think about a space where you can do that you need a wall stretches uh, it's good to think about that now all right 15 more seconds really stretching that groin as best we can seven six five four three two one all right, shake it off. From here, we're going to go for a uh, uh, hip flexor stretch. So here in the lunge position, one leg out. From here, whichever leg is out, I want you to rotate that knee towards the outside. So for my left knee is going to rotate towards the outside. I'm going to squeeze in my glutes. I'm going to tuck in my core, squeeze in my glutes. And then leaning forward, feeling a nice stretch in the hip flexor as best we can. And here, your hands can be wherever they want. They can be resting here, they can be pressing. Just avoid putting your weight into your knee. Try to see if you just keep your hands relatively loose. Don't actually use them to bear weight. They can rest wherever they like. But 25 seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. And from here, one leg out, shoulders back, leaning forward, feeling a nice stretch in that hamstring. It'll be here for at least 40 seconds. Really digging into our hamstrings as best we can. All right, 10 more seconds, 10, nine, four, three, two, and one. All right, from here, but for a glute stretch, bring your leg parallel to the edge of the mat. Try to sink back in your glute as best we can. We'll be here for at least 45 seconds, starting now. One more second, seven, five, four, three, two, one. Easing up. Now we're going to do the same three stretches, but with the other leg. So here, <clears throat> lunge position, lunging forward, whichever leg is in front. I want you to rotate that a little bit open, tucking your pelvis, squeezing your glute. We're going for a hip flexor stretch on the back leg. A little bit top of the thigh as well. Twelve more seconds, twelve, eleven, ten. Two, one. From here, leg extended, shoulders back, leaning forward, going for a nice stretch in the hamstring once more. About 40, 45 seconds here. Fifteen more seconds. Good. 
Three, two, one. In here. And we're going to parallel, parallel, parallel to the edge of the mat and go up that same loop stretch from this side. So here, like parallel to the edge of the mat, trying to sink back as best we can, stretching in. <clears throat> Ten seconds left. Ten. Nine. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Well, as I mentioned, let's travel to the uh, wall. So you need a wall <laughs> anywhere in your home. It's fine. Just move this over first. Uh, I think you start the corner and you need a flat space. A lot of the way. It's going to be located. Okay. So let's move. Mind. Okay. Need. Please here. Just gonna prop this up so that everyone can see. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, are you in a corner? Any corner will do. Wall. Anything else? From here, we're gonna take one leg. We're gonna place it parallel to the wall. We want to get our tailbone or our glutes as, as close as we can. We're gonna stick that leg up. We get any door frame, corner, uh, wherever you can find a wall and a turning point in your house or your home. I'm gonna shoot this my tailbone right against the wall. My foot's gonna remain neutral. And from here, I'm gonna lift up and try to slowly stretch down. And the key part here is to notice my toes. They're pointed up the whole time and towards me. They're not turned to the side or turned towards the wall. Both my feet are neutral. It can be tempting to rotate this foot out. Don't uh, keep it neutral. So here, slowly working up, slowly working down. There is no uh, correct pace. Just work with whatever you got. And slow, deep breaths. Two, one, switching sides. So for me, I'm just gonna do a quick sound check. But we're just gonna switch sides. So let's see here. Ah, uh, I see. Let's switch to that. That should actually sound better at this point. My apologies on the sound quality. Okay. So here, uh, we're gonna go the other way. And you're gonna place your leg against the wall, face the direction. Your goal here is to see if you can lower and raise. Hopefully you can see me, you can, excellent. 
Bring in here, just let both legs up. And you'll notice that one side might be a lot easier or harder than the other. That's normal. Just work with what you got. You need to open this so my leg can actually go through properly. But work with what you got. Try to keep your feet mostly neutral. And you're going to feel an hamstring stretch in the top leg. Slowly working through. Think slow, deep breath. Five, four, three, two, and one. Easy, huh? Excellent. From here, we're actually going to switch to the wall now. We're going to go for a groin stretch. So I may have to move us slightly. So here. I'm going to shift this over this way. Okay, and from here, uh, this is gonna look a little silly. I just need to back up so you don't see a head full of hair. Uh, <laughs> but we are going to, okay. So against the wall, both feet out, going for a slightly longer groin stretch than normal. We are gonna release using the wall. So here, I want you to lay sideways first. And then get your tailbone or your bum as close as you can against the wall. And we're gonna come all the way up <laughs> as best we can. Go for a groin stretch. Ooh. I'm gonna double check what I can see from here. Excellent. And so here it goes wide as you're able to. Uh, something you wanna be mindful of is tucking your tailbone. Avoid scooping it up. Try to see if you can actually uh, scoop it down, if that makes sense. Try to Try to flatten your low back, press your low back and your tailbone into the floor as best you can. Try to keep your feet pointed up and your feet, sorry, your feet neutral, toes pointing towards you, going for a nice groin stretch. And of course, you should expand it um, as you loosen up. So here, timing wise, uh, let's be here for a whole minute. It's really opening up in the groin. If you have trouble sitting cross-legged or if you have trouble just the tight groin in general. This is a nice passive one where you can kind of just rest here. You can make it more active, of course. The more you kind of walk your heels along the wall, the more active it is. And again, try to keep your tailbone down towards the floor. It can be a tendency to try to like shrink and relax and kind of curl your tailbone in. Try to do the opposite. Try to point your tailbone down. All right. Almost there, 10 more seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly easing off. You don't want to move too quickly. Uh, last but not least, against the wall, let's do a glute stretch. So here I'm going to get the back up a little bit. And here, I'm going to lift my legs up. I'm going to actually lift one leg up. I'm going to place one ankle on one knee like before. Then I'm going to sink my bum towards the floor. I'm going to try to come up and squeeze down. Now, if you find this easy, uh, reset your position and start closer to the wall. So if you, if you found that easy, move yourself towards the wall and do the same thing. And your goal here is to feel it in whichever leg is horizontal, you want to feel it in the glute of that side. Let's be here for about 35, 40 seconds. And after we do this on each side, uh, then we'll get to our neck and shoulders. At that point, we'll actually use a ball to do some rotator cuff, 
the overhead, and then a peanut for the uh, neck release. Great, 15 seconds. Three, two, one, easing off. All right, five more seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. From here, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my other equipment. I really don't wanna move, uh, move this tablet. So uh, if you can grab, uh, you can move yourself, of course, uh, grab whatever you need and what you need is a ball and a peanut roller. So let's grab that. All right, so for the ball, we're gonna keep our shoulders down and back. We're gonna place this right underneath our uh, shoulder. The way we find that is we take our fingertips. We're gonna reach on top of our shoulder, reach around to feel a natural groove. When I say groove, I mean it's gonna be where your arm ends and your back begins right in that middle point. And our goal is to rotate up and down right along our rotator cuff. Now, normally, I'd be running around making sure everyone's in the right position. Uh, but since I can't see anyone, I'm just going to trust that you, uh, you have it in the right position. So here, uh, once it's behind the shoulder, I want you to rotate up and down like so. Just rotate through. Maybe you're for about 35, 40 seconds. Taking our time. Um, something you want to watch out for is your arm getting lazy and just kind of extending out. It's very easy to flip flop <laughs> like this or with, you know, on an off slight angle. Try to see if you can keep your elbow at 90 degrees and rotate as best you can. That's all. It doesn't have to be perfectly at 90, a little bit off is okay if that helps, but try to keep it at 90 uh, as best you can. One, easing off, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna spend about a minute here. Elbows are nice and wide, taking the ball, placing it behind our shoulder. And just like with the rotation, try to keep your elbow at 90 degrees and rotate back and forth. Now, luckily we have a wall here to keep me honest, so I can't exactly go past the wall. So again, keeping it at 90 degrees.
All right, and five, four, three, two, one. From here, we're gonna take the ball. We're gonna place it behind your upper neck and trap if you're not sure where that is. Uh, find your collarbone first. Once you find your collarbone, you're gonna reach back behind you. You're gonna grab that chunk of muscle that's just above it. That's your upper trap. Make sure you're not behind your neck and throat. You wanna be behind the upper trap. Taking the ball here, shifting down, and slowly working that arm up and down. Now here you have a couple options. You can draw any kind of shapes, squares, triangles, crosses, circles, whatever works for you, it doesn't matter. So here you can kind of sweep in a big circle. You can also just kind of float up and down or across side to side. You can try drawing again. So if you were to draw shapes, you can draw a triangle or kind of work in a box-like motion, whatever works for you. You can draw an X, again, yeah, whatever works for you. You'll be here for about mm, 35, 45 more seconds, taking our time, slowly sinking in, just working that upper trap, then we're gonna switch sides. Excellent. Easy now, switching sides. And slowly working up and down. And you can draw whatever shapes you like, but it is simply even just moving back and forth. Maybe enough for you. Number seconds, 10, nine. And three, two, one, easing off, excellent. Last but not least, we're gonna just gonna roll our neck. We have two options. We can use a ball or a peanut. If you're using the peanut, you can also place it on top of a yoga block if you have one. But if not, just behind the head, just rolling up and down or just letting it rest in a particular spot is totally fine. Or you can use the ball, just do one side at a time. We'd place it, again, just off the center of your neck, on the floor, and it's gonna gently kind of just nod your head up and down, or in small circles, whatever works for you. you can use it. I, I, the ideal version is using a peanut to actually separate, uh, that'll go on both sides of your neck and not put pressure in the center. Again, you do not wanna push in the center of your neck. You wanna be off the side a little bit, just working through whatever you got going on. Either one is fine. We'll be here for at least another uh, 45 seconds, then we'll call it. Switch halfway through, whatever works for you.
We're almost at seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, and that concludes our uh, mobility and stretching for the morning. Thank you so much for all who attended live, and thank you everyone who, uh, who's watching us later on YouTube. Thank you so much. I'm gonna stop the recording here. <laughs>